When designing your cloud network and security, transit network is the most important architectural decision you will make. In this transit architecture, there are critical enterprise requirements that businesses need to handle around networking, security, and operations. Let's see a quick demo of how the Aviatrix multi-cloud network platform solves for these enterprise requirements. I am logged into the Aviatrix controller. This controller runs as an instance in your cloud environment in one of your VPCs or VNets with built-in HA. In this demo, we will build a global transit network spread across Azure and AWS. So let us get started with the Azure part first. The first step is to launch the Aviatrix transit gateways in the transit VNet. Choose the right cloud, subscription, region, VNet and subnet where you want to launch the transit gateway. Right here in the beginning, you can make some important choices around scale and performance of this transit network. By selecting insane mode or high performance encryption, you can achieve up to 70 gigabits per second of throughput. Active mesh is enabled by default and is recommended. This tells the controller that the gateways need to operate in active active mode, resulting in doubling of throughput. Transit FireNet function enables gateways to handle the insertion of security services like next generation firewalls in the transit network. Learn CIDR approval option gives you the ability to control propagation of BGP learned routes. This is a critical feature that has saved our customers hundreds of hours of outages. We will talk more about how Aviatrix ensures network correctness in a few minutes. Let's click create now. The controller is now building the cloud transit environment per your specifications. Now that our primary transit gateway has been created, let's move on to step two. Step two is to enable HA. The new transit gateway will be created in a different AZ for high availability and load balancing purposes. Okay, so the HA transit gateway creation is done now. Let's move on to step three. Step three allows you to connect your cloud transit network to your on-premises networks. Now that your transit layer is built, step four allows you to attach your application VNets, also known as spoke VNets, to the transit. For that, the first step is to launch the gateways in the spoke VNets. So let's do that. Now that all of our gateways have been deployed, the final step is to connect the spoke VNet to the transit VNet. And with this, you have your transit network ready in Azure. It is that easy. Now let's create this repeatable architecture in AWS to complete our global transit network. So now our AWS environment is also up and running. Let's connect the Azure and AWS transit networks together and build the connectivity between our Azure and AWS environments. Let's go to transit peering, choose the AWS transit gateway, choose the Azure transit gateway and click OK. Now that we have built out our global transit network, let's talk about global network segmentation across regions, accounts, and cloud providers. For example, we might want to segment our VNets and VPCs into production, development, and shared services domains. This means distributed applications in the production domain will be able to communicate with each other, but not outside the domain. This is how you build the global segmentation. First step is to prepare the Aviatrix transit gateways for the segmentation. The next step is to create the multi-cloud security domains. I have already pre-created three security domains. Step three allows us to build connection policies across the domains. For example, in this case, the fraud security domain is connected to the shared services security domain, but not the dev domain. Hence, the fraud VPCs can talk to the shared services VPCs, but they cannot talk to the dev VPCs. Now, the final step is to attach the VPCs to their respective domains. For that, let's go to the build section, choose the transit gateway in Azure, choose the fraud security domain and the respective VPC, 
and hit associate. That is done. Let's repeat the same process for the AWS Transit Gateway. So in the past few minutes, we've created a repeatable architecture-based transit network in multiple clouds and regions. We also specified the scale performance and segmentation characteristics. Most enterprises also require advanced security services like IDS, IPS, and malware detection. This critical security requirement could be for internet egress, ingress, or for east-west traffic between cloud networks. A Vitrix firewall network capability makes the security extension easy, repeatable, and scalable. To do that, we will go into the firewall network section and launch the firewalls right here from the controller. Let us choose the right details. So now as the firewall has launched successfully, we can also offload the networking functions like updating the firewall route tables to the controller with our vendor integration feature. And that can be configured right here on this page. We spoke a little about network correctness earlier in this demo. Maintaining network correctness is an important aspect of the Aviatrix platform. For example, let us see what happens when I try to attach a VNet whose CIDR overlaps with the VPC CIDR in AWS. The controller recognizes the overlap and will not let us attach the VNet to our network. Controller also detects any overlapping CIDRs between your cloud and on-premises networks and warns you with the possible routing issues. At the same time, if you need to gracefully handle overlapping CIDRs, Aviatrix platform has the mapped connection feature for a deeper dive please click on the link below. Now, let's talk about automation and infrastructure as a code. With Aviatrix, you can easily automate any part of the deployment using the Aviatrix Terraform provider or using the Aviatrix APIs. To get started with using the Aviatrix Terraform provider, use the export to Terraform feature. Just download the Terraform scripts and you will have the code for everything you've built through the controller UI. This is a great starting point for your cloud network automation project. A final note on visibility and operations. Aviatrix multi-cloud network platform comes with Copilot, which provides deep visibility into your cloud networks and security. The dashboard gives you up to the minute view of all your network assets in the cloud, including gateways and cloud native constructs. The topology view has an unprecedented visualization and troubleshooting capabilities. You can also tag your applications and measure latencies between them. Finally, the Flow IQ feature gives you deep visibility into traffic flow patterns and helps with anomaly detection. To learn more or to schedule a live demo, please click on the link below.